What's going on, people? This is your boy AG. I'm about to bring a quick series to you about how to mix your drums in machine. Right now, I got some drums loaded up from uh, Alcoda Gems from the Crate Kit. And what I got, I got a kick, snare, hi hat, open hi hat, crash, shaker, and a tambourine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and walk you all through how I create a drum loop and also uh, going through mixing and panning and EQing and things like that. And uh, hopefully, you know, for the new guys out there, y'all have a better understanding of how to mix your drums and machine when we're done. All right. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to get us a we're going to get us a tempo going on. So how you get a tempo is you want to hit shift and tap on note repeat, which is the tap tempo right over. So let's go ahead and get a tempo. All right, right there it's about 87, 87.5. And I'll go ahead and hold shift and turn the tempo up a little bit just to get it to 88. All right, so now it's 88 um, BPM. So what we want to do now is go to the pattern and we're going to select the pattern which is pad and you select your patterns by your pads hit pad one and we're going to change the bar length from one to two so it's going to be a simple two bar uh, boom bap type thing all right so what you want to do now you can do it two ways one way you can uh, record it without quantize on and the other one you can record with quantize so what we're gonna do is we're gonna record it without quantize you wanna hold shift and press record and that's gonna give you a, a one bar count in And from that, you know, hearing that playback, you can hear us off just a little bit. Now, that's cool for some people. You know, I, I actually like that, too. But what we're going to do is we're going to put it on beat. Going to hold shift, hit quantize. Now, what that did was take everything to the nearest grid. So now when we play it back, everything is going to be on time. All right, so now since it's just a regular, you know, straight one, two, one, two, what we're going to do is we're going to select the kick. Then you want to go into your pad mode. And what we're going to do is add some ghost kicks in there. And what that is, is we're changing the velocity to a lighter velocity or a less um, impactful velocity. And that's going to give us a little bit of swing to to our kick drum so what we want to do is hit pad mode go up here and hit 16 velocity so now it goes from low to high and the kick that we put down is right there on full velocity so now I normally like to stay up in there somewhere that way it's not too light and um we're going to go ahead and add a couple of ghost notes in there and try to get a little swing going on. So again, hold shift, press record. All right, so now we got a little swing going on. Let's come out of the 16 level, and then we're going to lay down some hi-hats. All right, so with the hi-hat, we want to do the same thing. And I like to leave quantize off on my hi-hats. So we got the hi-hat selected. We're going to hit 16 level again. 
and we're just going to go ahead and play along with it. And you can be as sloppy as you want, or you can be on time however you want to do it. So let's go ahead and get that started up. All right, so we got the hi-hats laid down. And again, you can go ahead and go back in and change it and, and, and do what you want to do. Let's come on out the hi-hats. Now we got the open hi-hat. And the thing is with the open hi-hat, normally with your drums, when a, when, a, when a drummer is playing, you can't play an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat at the same time. It's got to be one or the other. So what we want to do is have the closed hi-hat cut the open hi-hat off and how we do that is we want to go select the uh, the open hi-hat so now we want to come out of pad mode now we want to select sounds select module and what that's going to do is bring up our polyphony and our choke group so now what we want to do is have this this closed hi-hat cut the open hi-hat off so we're gonna select the closed hi-hat turn that down to one and we're gonna put that choke group one now we're gonna do the same thing with the clo with the open hi-hat so now when we hit this and then followed by the closed hi-hat it's gonna cut it off Alright, so now when we play it, it's going to sound more like a, a live drummer would play it. So let's go ahead and throw a couple of open hi-hats in there. Alright, so now you hear that's in there and it's cutting it off. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and throw our crash in on the one. So let's go ahead and hit shift, record. Alright, so we got that in there. Now we could throw a couple of shakers and tambourines up in there. Alright, and what I like to do is I like to throw the tambourine in on the kick and on the snare. So it's like one, two, one, two. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we threw that in there. Now we can go ahead and add a couple of shakers in there just to, you know, add a little more uh, rhythm to it or looseness to it. And um, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So hit shift record. Alright, so now that's pretty much the drum the drum beat or the drum loop that we're working with. Alright, so it sounds, you know, pretty decent right there. Um, but now when we start putting things in its proper place, you'll see it'll start to take form and it'll sound a whole lot better.